We have to get ahead. Um, we can't be behind our adversaries. Um, we have to train with and be prepared for national disasters, whether that's man-made um, or natural. Today we're doing an exercise called Exercise Thunderstruck 2.0, and we are showcasing the work we've done over the past couple years for Oklahoma National Guard UAS, Counter UAS program. We're out here today at the Oklahoma National Guard conducting really a kind of one-of-a-kind uh, advanced implementation of drone warfare. We found looking at uh, modern warfare, for instance in Ukraine, they're using tens of thousands of small uh, first-person FPV drones, and I need to make sure that my soldiers are aware of this threat and that we can develop the technologies, the techniques, and the procedures to counter that threat. The Secretary of War, Hegseth, has put forward an initiative. He's told the Army to go forth and do this kind of training. We were lucky. We had this plan for more than a year, so we're one of the first ones to execute this type of training ever. The beginning of the UAS program was an idea and conversation when we seen what was happening in Ukraine and Russia. And thoughts started happening, discussions started happening, and then collaboration happened um, with Oklahoma State, OU, Southwestern, Tulsa, all the academic partners that we have, and then industry, and then military, and government, and finally the state of Oklahoma. It's all coming together, and that's what you see for Exercise Thunderstruck. As we continue to evolve, we're going to continue to work on those problem sets. In Oklahoma and the National Guard in partnership with Governor Stead and the legislature, they've been extremely supportive of this effort. We are able to put together a kind of a leading laboratory uh, for some of these techniques, technologies that you see out here with our partners. And that really lets us see on a simulated battlefield what works and what doesn't work before we have to put our soldiers into harm's way. This is the new normal, um, not only for the war fight, but also for domestic operations here in the state of Oklahoma. And the future depends on us training now before we get there.